Ride Bikes More here with the manual for a bike ride interview. But before I get started, remember we're going to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. So tap into all the social medias because it makes you feel good. Mm. Emmanuel, thank you for the interview. Uh, what's going on today? You know, it's today is the first Sunday of the month. So Bike Houston does a, a bike ride every, every first Sunday of the month. Uh, it's been done for at least the last 10 years. And uh, the goal for the bike rides is always a little bit different, but it's always about showing the potential for the trails, as well as you know showcasing the new trails that we have. So today we're out here, it's a beautiful day. Uh, we're out here in Bel Air, Texas. It was uh, one of the first streetcar suburbs in, in the Houston area. Um, so yeah, we're here in this beautiful park. I, I didn't know that about Bel Air. Uh, how many miles are we riding today? What's the pace? So today we're doing about 26 miles and I think the average pace will be around anywhere from 10 to 11 miles per hour. Okay, is this a drop ride, no drop ride? And how can people find out about the ride? Sure, so um, bikehouston.org has a, uh, a calendar of events and so every single month you're going to see the first Sunday of the month 8 a.m. at Market Square Park um, and then some of the rides are going to be published on social media the, um, with the routes beforehand but you can always uh, bet that there's going to be a, a ride on the first Sunday of the month uh, leaving at 8 a.m. from Market Square Park and like you, uh, you're asking it's a no drop ride. That no drop ride means that if something happens, everyone stops to address whatever is happening at that moment. Why do you ride? So, you know, I've been riding since I went to college in Austin. And um, for me, it's just uh, biking represents freedom. And then, then I learned about all the amazing ways that uh, biking, you know, lowers your carbon footprint, gets you healthy. You, you, know, you know, whenever you're, you're riding, you, you get to clear your mind. And then you see the city through such a different lens, right? Um, I mean, Houston is such a green city, but if you drive all the time, then you never get to see it. Uh, so that's why I ride. And what kind of bike do you ride and why do you ride that, that type of bike? So I have uh, seven bikes. Today I'm riding a, a giant road bike and uh, so I just choose it based on you know, how I feel that morning or if my friends are using any of my other bikes, then those go to them. But What message do you, do you have for the people that are watching that might want to try bike riding? Uh, it's a lot easier than, than you might think. Um, so if you've never ridden a bike before uh, or if you haven't in a while, you can easily pick up the bike and ride 20 miles. It's, it's, it's so easy. And I, will, I also want to say that, you know, most, ha, about half of the rides that people, drives that people do in, inside of the 610 loop are under three miles. And that is a really easy, easily bikeable distance. So um, I invite everybody to think about replacing your car ride for a bike ride. Any final messages, any shout outs? Uh, no, I just want to thank, uh, you know, Bike Houston for allowing me to host this. I, I volunteer with Bike Houston. It's a great organization that really watches out for bicyclists of any age and any ability. They want to make it safe um, for everybody to ride. And so I really thank Bike Houston for all their advocacy and support for the community. Well, how can people find you? Uh, so I, I actually run an um, Instagram page called A Tale of Two Bridges, where we're advocating to build... Um, you know, a wider network of trails. And we're starting with two bridges in the Heights, which we hope to um, get funding for uh, pretty soon here. Online, our website is atotb.org. Awesome message. I really appreciate it. I could not have said it better. I'm Luke for Ride Bikes More, and we are out. Mm. Test one, two, test, test one, two.